So I just got this from AliExpress. Is the Anang Anang M118A multimeter. It has true RMS, auto ranging, or power off, a whole bunch of features. Measures resistance, capacitance, diodes, current, voltage, EC, DC. Even has a non contact voltage sensor at the top and an LED light for £3.50 shipped. Really kind of amazing, but the first thing you notice when you pick it up is just how light it is. I mean, this thing weighs nothing. But here's the interesting part. You'd think this would be all just all one molded piece, but actually, look at that. It has a rubber sleeve on it. Interesting, right? Comes with a little kickstand. It's not great, but it does the job. I mean, you're not gonna knock it over. Well, you might press it really hard. But it doesn't have a wheel, so you don't actually have to turn anything. You can just hold it and press the buttons as you go along. It's powered by two AAA batteries, which go in the back. You can actually just open this with your thumb, with your, with your nail even, just like that. But what I wanna know is just how accurate this is. So what I'm gonna do is compare it against a multimeter that I know for a fact is accurate. The Fluke 179, and just for fun, I might also include the 75 Series 3. But what I'll do is I'll connect it up to my DC power supply and we'll see how close it is. So these are the probes it came with. Pretty much as you'd expect, they feel really cheap and nasty. The cables are a bit stiff, but they're long enough. They are supposedly Cat 3 rated. That was in volt max. I really don't think so. In fact, I don't think you should be putting these anywhere near mains voltage. Although, we'll, we'll maybe try that later and see if this thing blows up. But what I'm going to do for now is just connect, connect it to my DC power supply. I'll turn it on. Now, it's in its auto mode. So it's detecting something. Ah, see, it's measuring resistance because it thinks that's what you want to do. Well, it's not. So I'm going to do auto DC, there we go, we should now be measuring just DC voltage and it's already picking something up, I hope you can see it, yeah, there we go. So we'll set it to 200 milliamps and then we'll put the voltage up to 1 volt, 1.01, that's close, we'll go up to 5, oh, sorry about that. 502, that's not bad. Up to six. It actually responds pretty quickly as well. That's six volts, six or three. Let's put it up to ten. That's pretty much bang on. Really not bad. Let's put it up to fifteen. Fifteen oh seven. Not bad at all. Now let's compare it to the Fluke one seven nine and see how it differs. Let's put up to 5 volts. Four point nine eight nine. It's slightly off, but in the same in the opposite direction. That was over five. Let's put up to twelve. Eleven nine eight. Let's try fifteen. Fourteen point nine eight. Well, it's very close, certainly very close to the fluke. Now, what I have here is a couple of resistors, a couple of capacitors, and an LED. And we'll see how it compares to the fluke. So I'll change the mode over to resistance. Put the resistor on. And we're measuring, this should be a 1 mega ohm resistor, sorry, 100 ohm resistor. 100.5, pretty much bang on. Let's try the one mega ohm resistor. 0.993. That's very close. Now let's try the flip. One mega ohm exactly. Now let's try the 100 ohm resistor. 100.7. So yeah, they're very, very close. Very, very close. Micro capacitor, 
So move it over to capacitance. 97.3. That's probably still within spec. Let's try that over on the thing. So move that over to capacitance. There we go. Machine anything? Is it not working? What is it doing? I'm not showing him out. There you go, ninety point two. What was this? Ninety four. Let's try the other one. This is another 100 microfarad capacitor. Thirty point oh. Is it thinking? Ninety one point six. It do, it does take a while to measure capacitance. It's really really quite slow. Let's plug into the fluke. Yeah, I mean the fluke's pretty much instant. 97.3 Well, that's quite quite a ways off. What was that again? 97.3 and this It's really slow 90.4. Yeah, that's that's quite off um, I'm really willing to trust the fluke a lot more That's interesting And I've dropped down to 4. Now, let's try diodes testing and see if we can light up an LED so now we're on a diodes testing. Oh, I don't know why it's flashing like that. But it's actually managing to light up the LED. If we can see that. There you go. So if you compare it to the fluke. There we go. It's quite a bit brighter as well, I think. So it's all very close. Um, at least as far as voltage and resistance goes. Um, capacitance is not so much. Um, it takes seems to take quite a while to actually take a measurement and it's quite off i mean this was showing 97.3 and this showed 90 point something so that's that's not very good this how it looks like i mean it looks very standard for these cheap meters the 10 amp is not particularly well, well insulated in fact if you have a look here i'm gonna zoom in you can see how close that screw is to that terminal <laughs> I mean that will probably spark over I would imagine you have these two wires these connect the LCD I don't know why they're so long this will be the main chip it's covered with this black goo rock solid so you won't be able to take it off here's the fuse it's a glass fuse which is pretty much what you'd expect you wouldn't expect a ceramic one No name brand. I don't know what this is. Well, I've, I've just bent these, just trying to take it out. Is it going to go back in? No, see, it's already loose. There we go. Ah, uh, see. Let me just squeeze it a bit more. Oh, well, there we go. This was like the buzzer. But then there's holes here. Similarly for the audio, but then. To get some airflow to the chip, maybe, or is it for the LED? I don't think the LED is powerful enough to really need airflow. So, should you buy this multimeter? Well, if you're really desperate and you only have four pounds to spare, then yeah, sure, it's probably the best thing you can buy at that price point. But if you're willing to spend a bit more and get yourself a second-hand fluke you can get something like this for about 50 quid maybe a, maybe a bit more on ebay and yeah there's just no contest thanks for watching